All right, so hey, what's up everybody? Tasty Tuesday number 11. I can't believe it's already here, but the best thing about it is that I'm wearing some new hardware. You see that? Sarah and I got married. Check it out. Here we are. We are Woo! finally a married couple. Saturday was absolutely amazing. We got married at our church. So now we are Mr. and Mrs. Robert Arrington. This is Sarah Arrington your host of Dear Meat for Dinner. And we are so stoked that you guys are a part of all this. Now, just so you know, we filmed an entire video of like the day before, getting ready, going through all the, the craziness of a wedding, and then some behind the scenes stuff at the wedding, all the way up through the wedding and then afterwards. So you guys are gonna see absolutely everything. Yes. From both sides, his and, his and mine. Yeah, I haven't even seen her footage yet. We've been so crazy with the boat. I mean, then I've been up on the hard top fixing outriggers, and I've got guys sanding teak and putting in water makers. It's like so crazy, but I'm blessed to have a wonderful job, and we're blessed to have you guys hanging out with us, dear meat for dinner. So tonight we're doing something really really fun, pretty darn easy, and absolutely delicious. Seafood quesadillas shrimp and scallops, check it out. Right off the bat, I want to turn on my saute plan, saute plan, the saute plan. I want to get it on nice and hot. Before I put my oil, I want to say hey to Larry Limerick. I actually took them on- Larry and Cindy. Larry and Cindy Limerick. Took them on a uh, on a dove hunt and they sent us some of this olive oil. Oh, yum, it's so darn good. Now that we're married, I'm going to start trying to eat more healthy. So more olive oil, less butter, but we're still gonna go with big taste. And I can guarantee you we're gonna be using some of the original Everglades. Good old green and white bottle. See this? I cut up my shrimp so that they're about the same size chunks as these little bay scallops. And hey, if you guys are like in the Midwest or if you're in an area that you can't get really nice, delicious, fresh bay scallops, they you know, you can buy them frozen almost anywhere, thaw them out and they'll be great. Same thing with the shrimp. Okay, a little bit of olive oil. About like that, not too much. Just a dab will do ya. And take some minced garlic. I love the smell of this, see that? About that much. So I'd say about a teaspoon or so. Good. Nice sizzle going on. Then we're gonna take, this is corn from one cob. Throw that in there. Okay. I'm gonna get in trouble. Oh yeah. Once you start smelling that corn start to caramelize, you know it's all working. Keep moving it. Keep moving it. Keep moving the corn. Now we're just gonna throw in our shrimp. Our scallops. Turn the heat down just a little bit. Then I'm gonna add, this is some chopped up, fresh chopped up basil. About like that, about that much. And it sounds like it needs just a little bit more of this olive oil. Good. Yeah, it sounds like it does. It just needs a little bit more sizzle. Now I'm gonna season it. Original Everglades, I love this stuff. Good. Ooh. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. So let that cook for just a minute. And I'm not telling you guys, this is really fast and really easy. Once you get set up, it, it takes no time to do this. Can you do this I'll just use this plate. Um, oh, this thing? Just gonna add some tricolored peppers in there. Now to give it a little bit of a Caribbean flair, I'm gonna add some lime. Just wanna turn the heat back up. Now, look at all that. 
This has such an amazing smell to it. It just smells delicious. So that's done. Now I'm just gonna take a rag and just wipe this olive oil. Yeah. Sort of season that pan up a little bit. We're gonna be using, this is sun-dried tomato uh, wraps. You need two of them per quesadilla. When you're doing this, you do not want your pan to get too hot or you'll burn everything. This is too easy, you guys. Got a pan, wiped it around with a little olive oil, throw that in there. Now, I'm gonna make Sarah's first. That's pepper jack cheese, that's mozzarella. Sarah doesn't like spice, so I'm just gonna use mozzarella for hers. We'll just spread this cheese all around there, just like that. Turn this down to manageable heat. Get plenty of, plenty of cheese on there, just like that. Get some of the seafood. You don't want this to be real wet. You wanna drain it off. Mm -hmm. That's the plan. You just get a lot of the get a lot of the flavors in there. All right, so I'm gonna add a little more cheese on top, like that. And this cheese is necessary so when you flip it over, it sticks to the other uh, wrap or tortilla. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit more herb, just this little bit of cilantro. Touch more basil. Just a touch more spice. Touch more Everglades. It's the easy part. Cover it up. Cover it up just like that. Now. Good question, my love. <laughs> Another Great question. Oh, you, I know what you're gonna my do. My new wife. You're so smart. So now, here's how you do this. You take your plate, put it on top, just like that. Let it sit there and, and just get a little bit of heat trapped under there. Okay, it doesn't take long because you don't want your plate to get hot. And then come over here to the sink because you don't want to spill stuff everywhere. Whammy, that comes out just like that. Put it back on here. Pretty work, honey. There you go. Ah. Smells so good. Holy mackerel. I literally was working on the boat today and was thinking, hmm, what do I want to make? I knew I was busy. I knew we'd been busy with the wedding, with working on the boat, with everything that we've got going on. So I was trying to come up with something that would be really good because it's our first Tasty Tuesday after being married. But I also wanted to be something that y'all loved, Sarah loved, I loved, and wasn't gonna take too long to make. Pizza cutter and just. Can you leave one half full and just cut one half? Because I'm not going to leave that much. Okay, and so we'll leave this half whole. Yeah. So you can have that tomorrow. When they're this big and fat, you got to be real careful cutting them. You can eat this. You're gonna love this. Good thing I ran. Dear Lord, I thank you so much for an amazing day, for all our many blessings. Lord, and thank you for this food. Please watch over us and guide us and keep us safe. Forgive us of all of our sins. In Jesus' name, amen. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Okay. Why should we? Okay. Mmm. And then we've got mm. this is roasted uh, corn salsa, guacamole, lime, and I love wasabi sauce. It doesn't need it. Hmm? This is a lot better. No offense, but what I had in my mind, I was like, I don't know if I like that. Ooh. It's really good. It's got a pop to it. The corn curled. Give it a pop. The shrimp gives it a pop. Mmm. And the peppers, it makes it, um, and the, it must be the lime. Festive. It's festive in my mouth. Mmm, it's festive. <laughs> it's got tons of moisture. It's not dry. It's really good. Mmm. And I just had a chicken and cheese quesadilla the other day. This blows that out of the water. Isn't it good? Good. The cilantro is what you're tasting. Mm. But the corn do look. Mm -hmm. And then the, the shrimp and the scallops. It's so good. This is a win win. Mm. Winner, winner. Quesadilla for dinner. Uh, that's good, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, this was a huge success. Like, yeah. Absolutely as good or better than I could have even dreamed. And thank you so much for hanging out. Thanks so much for being patient. So I'm going to give you a hint. So many people have been asking about my foot. As soon as I can, I'm going to go show you guys where everything happened, how everything happened, and explain what happened. And you will know. It's a very huge part of my life. And I, I nearly died. It was terrible. But um, I lived and everything's good. So I'll definitely be showing you guys that. And then we've got the wedding video coming up. And then we're going to start fishing on the big boat. And then we're going to be fishing back in the river. Because snook fishing should just really heat up. And hopefully... And the sharks are coming in too. Yeah, sharks and cobias are coming in. Hopefully we find somewhere to go turkey hunting. So lots of good stuff. Lots and lots and lots of good stuff. We just crossed... We just crossed 57,000 subs today, and Rimmers is begging me dearly, Dad, please give me one piece of quesadilla. No <laughs> quiero. But, um, anyway, thanks so much for watching. I love you guys, appreciate you guys, and can't wait to see you guys.